Quick turn round. We have another star of the Castle Donington show here in front of me now. Gary Moore, welcome along. Hi. Gary, I, I gather, you know, with your new single and everything, that you're getting into a new sort of romantic, low-key stage in your career now. Oh, don't you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, Empty Rooms is perhaps a return to the Parisian uh, walkways sort of feel. Yeah, yeah, it's a similar kind of song. It's uh, a much more gentle thing than uh, people associate with me with normally, and uh, it's more like a, a melodic ballad than a sort of heavy metal hellraiser thing. But you're not really a heavy metaler as such anyway, are nah, you? No, not really. I mean, part of what we do is heavy metal, but we do like to think of ourselves as uh, a little bit more melodic than bands like, say, Judas Priest and more mainstream heavy metal bands. The other day I was talking about the now um, axed new Reading Festival, the Lil Lilford Festival that unfortunately had to go by the by. Yeah. And uh, the Bluebells were playing that gig along with a lot of uh, so-called heavy metal or progressive bands. Yeah. And because I called uh, the other bands on that uh, bill heavy metal, I got an awful lot of hate mail from people really? who genuinely seem to think that heavy metal as such doesn't really exist nowadays, that it's, it's rock and roll yeah. Uh, and maybe more authentic rock and roll than a lot of other bands are saying. What do you feel about the whole heavy metal image? Well, I think heavy metal to me means like, you know, uh, from a musical point of view, as a guy getting up on stage, you know, with his hair down to his waist, you know, and, and studs and armbands everywhere and screaming at the top of his voice. I mean, that's like what he heavy metal sounds like to me. And there still um, are bands that do that, There are still bands that do that, yeah, but I think it's gone a little bit further than that now. I mean, if you look at bands like Van Halen, who were definitely like a heavy metal band before, they've branched out. I mean, they had like a dance hit with Jump, you know, and uh, and bands like ACDC are not really sort of playing like that anymore. It's all changing, and Ozzy Osbourne even had a ballad in the charts recently, you know, so it's definitely uh, progressing in some way. So what is the mix then between the melodic side of what you're doing and maybe the, the slightly rougher edge that you play as well? Well, we just try and strike a balance between the two things because, I mean, I wouldn't like to go on stage and just play like headbanging music all night, you know, and just churn out a bunch of old dated riffs. I'd rather try and put some variety into it and I think it makes it more interesting for people that way. Otherwise, you know, the band get bored and the audience get bored. Some people might have seen a recent sight and sound programme that you did that was recorded down at uh, Gold Diggers in Chippenham. Right. Uh, I thought it looked very good. I mean, you had <laughs> you had reservations, OK, because it was the first gig that you played. It was played. the first gig we played this year and we hadn't played for a long time and we were all, you know, a bit out of condition and I just, you know, I thought, well, it can only get better after this. And it, <laughs> it did, thank goodness, you know. So what happened after that gig? Where did after you that, we did a tour of uh, Europe, uh, Japan um, and America and we've just come back from America. And uh, now we're about to do these uh, festivals, starting with today at Donington. You did do a few gigs around Britain too, because I've heard a tape, a BBC recording for America, that was done uh, at Hammersmith. That's Odin. right, yeah, that was the Hammersmith show, and it turned out really good. In fact, it was broadcast in America while I was out there, and it sounded real good. You've got a new drummer now as well. Yeah, uh, he, he Almost just did his, his first gig, isn't it? Yeah, he just did his first gig with us uh, last Wednesday at the Gold Diggers Club in Chippenham, which is uh, where we always seem to start from. <laughs> And uh, he's Paul Thompson. He was Roxy Music's drummer for ten years, most of their career, and uh, he's worked in. He's worked out really good for us. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So anything. what's the approach then today? Well, we're just going to go out there and go for it, be ourselves, and uh, hopefully uh, get them going. On that legendary BBC concert from the Hammersmith uh, Odeon that was broadcast in America, there was a great live version of the single. So that obviously is a, a pretty starring song in the set as well. Yeah, that's it's funny because, you know, although you said before people associate us with heavy metal and everything, that's like one of our biggest numbers on stage. That's the one that almost gets the best response, and like it's the, the, the most mellow song we do. All right, have a good show today. Thank you. And we'll play now Gary Moore and the band and Empty Rooms.